Hey gamers, welcome back to my gaming channel, Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater, and I'm your host, the Meat Geek. Just came back from a uh, day of work, day of work, and I went to the martial arts world Sekido gym to have a good workout and do my training. I'm going to work on getting my yellow belt. I'm very excited about that, and I finished up some Japanese style ramen, ready to get back into the saddle of my trusty uh, Griffin steed as Hawkscope the Druid, Profession Druid, level 43. 1,813 gold, 40,946 experience. Next level at 41,000. We're doing a couple of missions for the Horn Temple, the Minotaur, the Firewalkers. Our next mission, we, we, we're, what we're trying to do is we're uh, assembling the skeleton of Sartek. The Minotaur Firewalkers, they have a god named Sartek, and we are, we are attempting to assemble their god skeleton. So let's uh, get on to the next mission. What we're going to do? Crest of Sartek. Here we go. You must find a knight in the borderlands who has had the cat crest of Sartek mounted onto his helm. Then return to Tauron with the crest. Except, yeah, we have another long journey ahead of us. Where to this? Where to this time? Yeah, somewhere in the southern lands is a knight who has fastened the crest of Sartek into a helmet. He dwells at a place called the Red Tower, but we do not know where that is. I've been to this Red Tower. It's in the town of Mathenburg, home to the Knights of River Riverguard. Then lead the way. All right then, let's go to Riverguard. All right, all right, giggity giggity. Let's do this. We have to go all the way down here to Galia. Okay, let's do this. Where are we here? for now. A centaur. Avoid him. I need to fight him right now. Focus on the mission. Avoid, troll. Oh, gotta fight another griffin. Not, all, not only can griffins convert all green and blue gems to yellow, but they can also use their death dive skill to inflict damage equal to the number of yellow gems in play. Right. This creature can fly out. I'll help keep it off you. Thanks. Flicker. All right. Skulls. Red stones. Skulls. Green stones. gets in our turn stones um, experience All right, the stones the stones lightning Skulls. 
stones. Yellowstones. Ouch. Skulls. Generation. Redstones. Redstones. Yellowstones. Ouch. Forest fire. Watch out, skulls. Watch out, skulls. Forest fire. Victory! You are uh, victorious! 1039, you've gained the following 8 gold, 17 experience. For your victory, you've also gained 5 gold and 4 experience. Rank Ancient and Cunning also gives you 3 gold and 2 experience. Continue! Oh, oh I don't have to so fight. Orc, avoid. Here we go. Wait! I cannot enter these lands! Lord Greythane. Must have forgiven you by now. Great Thane will never forgive me. I will never forgive myself. We've been traveling together a very long time, Cyrus. Cyrus, you've you've never told me what this is all about. No, I have not. That wasn't an observation, Cyrus. It was a request. You've helped Agaria so many times. Then let us help you. You cannot help me. Agaria cannot help me. Nobody can. Serious. Cyrus. Oh, very well. It will give you, get you to leave me alone. I was in love with the daughter of Lord Greyfing, the Duke of Maithenburg. We were betrothed, betrothed against her father's wishes. He did not want his daughter to marry a quote-unquote half-breed, as he called me. We eloped one night. We intended to travel west to Drakenburg and live there until Lord Greyfane eventually accepted us back. But on the way there, near Skelheim, I caught the trail of a sorcerer, and stupidly, we followed it. I thought there would be little harm in hunting down one dark wizard on the way. And I defeated the sorcerer, but he rose again, more powerful than ever. For I knew what was happening. Lyandra lay dead in my arms. Whites were surrounding us. I managed to escape, but I could not even find Landra's body to return to her father. He has... He has every right to hate me. You have my word, Cyrus. I will do whatever I can to make this right. Alright, let's do this. Maithenburg. Avoid the giant rat. Let's visit the Red Tower. You have brought that half-human animal, Dark Hunter, into my tower? Leave now, or I will have you thrown into the dungeon, all of you. Visit the Red Tower. You have brought that half-human animal, Dark Hunter, into the tower? Leave now, or I will have you thrown into the dungeon, all of you. Okay. What can I do? Um, inventory, inventory. Uh, I'll have to somehow drop off, uh, we'll have to drop off Mr. Uh, Dark Hunter. Alright, Sirius Dark Hunter, stay here. Okay, remove. Farewell then, my friend. I shall, ne I shall be near Gelia in the Borderlands if you need my help. Okay, let's do this. 
visit the Red Tower. Lord Greyfane, we seek a knight from these parts. What is his name? We don't know that, sir, but he wears a large helm with a plume fashioned from the crest of a giant minotaur. Ah, you seek Sir Borak. He is not a knight of the River Guard any longer, but we know him well. He is a fearsome warrior. You will find him in Drakenburg. Well, let's go to Drakenburg then. Get that crest. Ah, a monster. Avoid the giant bat. Focus on the midnight. Challenge, Sir Borak. Knight. Knights may thrust at a single chosen grid on the board, destroying a gem. They may also call upon the power of divine right to destroy all purple stars in play. Sir Borak is particularly powerful. His skills are high, he is well armored, and he has extra spells. Fight. Allow me to charm your opponent. They will not strike a lady. Skulls. Five minutes in our turn. Skulls. He's pretty tough. But we're going to do just fine. Red stones. Don't let him get the red, yellow, blue colors. Red stone. Green stones. Regeneration, forest fire. Regeneration, red stones. Two stones. Watch out. Skulls. That. Regeneration and go. Skulls. Green stones. Uh, let's have a little experience. Five minutes in our turn. Experience. Stones. Should I turn? Ouch. 
Ouch. Earth power, spell resistant. Ouch. Regeneration. Those stones. Watch out. Let's have a little skulls. Spell resistant. Forest fire. Battle skill. Generation spell resistant. Jeez, these guys blocking my spells. Earth power. Spell resistant. Generation spell resistant. Skulls. Damn this guy. Generation. And stones. All stones. Skulls. Death dive. Spell is he's being protected by magic. Green stones. Forest fire. Red stones. It's in our turn. Earth power. Blue stones. Skulls. Ouch. Death dive. Generation Red Stone Ouch Forest Fire Spell Resistant Generation Ah, damn it Earth Power Spell Resistant Experience Stones. It's in our turn. Forest fire. Spell resisted. Um, generation. Uh, blue stones. Skulls. Ooh, I that. Ouch. Forest fire. Victory is mine. You are victory. 4,902. You've gained the following 40 gold, 18 experience. For your victory, you've also gained 48 gold, 24 experience. Rank 18 in cunning also gives you 30 gold, 15 experience. Congratulations, you've gained a level. Level up! Give me some earth mastery, some air mastery, some cunning, and some... that's it. You've defeated Sir Bonek, and you take his helm as your prize. Finally, that's good. Let's go back to the Horn Temple and pick up our treasure. Avoid night. Let's head on back. Let's talk to the Minotaur Priest. See what you'll say. Return the crest. We have the crest, Toron. Is it not a thing of pure majesty and absolute beauty? Now only one thing remains. To steal the very skull of Sartek from the Horn Citadel of Otar. Quest complete. Crest of Sartek. Toron is now waiting one final piece of his god. You received the following reward. 400 experience. Done. Done. Done like dinner. So gamers, uh, stay tuned. Uh, right after this video, 
We're taking a quick break and we're getting right back into the swing of things with our next video. Tune in, we're going to finally get the final piece of Sartek's skeleton, the skull of Sartek.